All right, kids. Uh, welcome to class. I'll be your teacher for the day. You suck. Class. Ew, I can Today's so subject woozy. is gonna be on segregation. But before we start that, let's do a quick roll call. Mikey, butt fungal lover. Here. Giggly, gaffing Smurf. Here. All right, Hubert. Blaine, Wolfish, Legolstein, Usen, Hausen, Burger, Dwarf Senior. <gasps> it's actually Burger Dwarf Senior, not Burger Dwarf. <laughs> All right, it looks like we're done with roll. Um, guess it's time to go on to the topic I was ta trying to tell you guys about earlier, and that is segregation. More specifically, the Greensboro Lunch Counter Sit-In, the 24th Amendment, and Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination. Now everyone make sure to pay attention and take notes! Alright kids, let's start the video. The 24th Amendment. Congress passed the 24th Amendment. This banned poll taxes. Congress proposed it on August 27, 1962, and it was passed January 23, 1964. But why would they do this? Probably because they thought it was racist and unfair. Congress. Thanks for watching. Enjoy this epic outro. All right, did you guys all take your notes? Well, I don't care. We're starting the next video. On the afternoon of April 1968, James Earl Ray rented a room at a Memphis rooming house near the Lorraine Motel. That day, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated as he stood on the second floor balcony of the Lorraine Motel. On May 7, 1968, the Shelby County Criminal Court named James Earl Ray in an indictment for the first degree murder of Dr. King. An international manhunt ended with Ray's capture at Heathrow Airport in London, England on June 8, 1968. Following extradition proceedings in England, Ray was returned to the United States on July 19, 1968. Ray pleaded guilty to the murder of Dr. King on March 10, 1969. He was sentenced to 99 years in the penitentiary. It is likely that Ray killed King because, you know, he was racist and attempting to collect a racist bounty on Martin Luther King's head. Okay, bye! Alright, I honestly don't have enough time for you kids. Just watch the goddamn video and take your notes, you little pieces of crap. The Greensboro counter sit in was a civil rights protest that started on February 1st, 1960, in which four young students, Joseph McNeil, Franklin McCain, Ezell Blair Jr., and David Richmond, all planned to end segregation in some way. Inspired by Martin Luther King Jr., of course, they went into a local Woolworth Five and Dime store, not to protest, but to buy things. And everything was going fine up until they got to the lunch section to the, of the store, where they were denied service and told to leave. But the force stood their ground and stayed there until the store closed that night. The next day, the four young students brought with them over 20 other students to help with the city, which is when many general people who weren't students caught wind of the protest and decided to join. Slowly, over the course of the next few months, more and more people would join, which eventually caused a change in Woolworth and many other stores' policies. Along with these store policies against black Americans being changed, the sit-ins also showed people how unfair the treatment of black Americans still was, even after the Civil War, which helped in the fight for true equality in the United States by helping to spread awareness. Alright kids, it's time to show you what a true classroom is like. CLASS IS IN SESSION! Where are we? And where is that boss music coming from? I am a god, son of the ancients. I think I just took in my pants. And I am going to take 